Hello you wonderful people of YouTube, this is Wayne here for the Let's Play Get Gaming channel and today, at long last my friends, we are playing the highly anticipated downloadable content pack for State of Decay from Undead Labs. Yes my friends, this is indeed State of Decay Breakdown. Now I have been playing State of Decay Breakdown non-stop for the last two days and I am freaking addicted. This is the ultimate zombie apocalypse survival simulation challenge I recommend and I urge and I demand that you all access the Xbox Live Marketplace and purchase this for $6.99. It's also available on the Steam Marketplace, again for $6.99 if you are a PC player. Now I will explain everything about this game as we play through it, but for now let's press A to play breakdown and we will press A again to start a new game because yes my friends I have deleted my save file to start a new game, to dis display and give to you on my channel. Now the, there is a very good reason for me starting a new game, deleting my save and starting again and that is because I'd unlock pretty much all of these people and I want this to be as educational as a walkthrough as it is an experience and a let's play. So I will explain everything. At first you can start out, as you can see in your upper left screen my friends, you can start out at breakdown level 1. As you progress, for example, as you will see, I will get to breakdown level 2, level 3, level 4. If I die, I can start out from let breakdown level 2, 3, 4, whatever I choose, or I can start back at level 1. It's all my choice once you've unlocked a breakdown level, you can start out from that level. The same applies to these heroes here. These are heroes. As you can see, you can start you can unlock the bruiser by killing 100 zombies with blunt weapons. This spoiler alert folks will unlock Eli Wilkerson. Once you've unlocked Eli Wilkerson and you start a new game, you can choose to start out as Eli Wilkerson. If you unlock all of these heroes and you die, start a new game, these will appear in random groups of survivors that you can uh, radio out to via the radio by accessing Lily Ritter. So it's all your choice, folks. Uh, no matter what you do, you will always have access to these heroes from the new games that I have started to test this out. Heroes spawn quite commonly, so you will not have to wait forever to unlock, uh, to finally get hold of Marcus Campbell, for example, once he's unlocked. So, I will explain everything else. Let's start out with a random character and see what the game throws at us this time around. This is episode 1, and my friends, I will throw a challenge out to you for this challenge series, because that's what Breakdown is, it's a challenge series. We need to be all about community, and that's what my channel has been all about. Undead Labs need your help at advertising State of Decay Breakdown, because they've released it right in the heat of the next generation of consoles from PS4 and Xbox One. So, I urge all of you to go ahead, purchase State of Decay Breakdown, and promote it. Record yourselves playing it, send me the links, and we will start our own State of Decay Breakdown family. To hell with new generations of gaming. Let's stick with the current generation. So, as you can see, we've just started out. We have been given a random survivor. We've been dropped in a random part of the map. And now Lily is telling us that we are not the only survivors around. We have started out with Laura Benitez. We will not keep her. She will not last, so please don't get attached. We also have Lily Ritter. That's it. That's all of everything, folks. Uh, what you've just saw is me kill two zombies with a blunt weapon, a table leg. Now that contributes, as you can see, to the bruiser. Two out of 100 zombies killed using blunt weapons. Now we have been placed in a random part of the map. We are in the carnival area. Our nearest potential home site is here. I believe that to be the Kirkman residence. So now we need to locate a vehicle and get down to the Kirkman residence. You have, as you can see, when you start, three potential home sites. For me, I'm just going to go straight with the Kirkman residence for simplicity's sake at the moment. As long as I can get my hands on a vehicle, all shall be well. Along the way, we will uh, do our best to kill a few zombies towards the bruiser uh, hero unlock. Because once that challenge is complete, we get Eli Wilkerson. And Eli is one of my favourite survivors. He is a definite keeper. Now, allow me to take a breath and describe what State of Decay Breakdown is all about, my friends. State of Decay Breakdown, as I have located a taxi cab here, is all about just sandbox survival simulation. You will get nothing other than what is said on the tin, my friends. This is a survival simulation. So, you, a random survivor, the player, is dropped in, a, in the heat of a zombie apocalypse. Once you are in that zombie apocalypse, it is your job to survive and then escape. Once you locate the RV, your RV is a ticket, folks. That's what your main objective is. That's what your only main objective is. 
you have to locate the RV, you have to fix up the RV, which can be anything from repairing its tyres using construction supplies, to disinfecting it using medical supplies, or refueling it using fuel, or the three, depending on uh, what difficulty you are on. Then once you've uh, fully done up the RV, you have to choose six survivors from your enclave. You can only take six survivors with you. So make your choice carefully, my friends, because you do not want to take any useless... Oh no. Oh no. I crashed into a mountain. Luckily we have another vehicle not too far away. You can only take six survivors with you, so you have to choose from six survivors. Choose them wisely, because once those survivors are gone, you cannot get them back. Now, I will explain more about the moral choice behind this uh, amazing game mode, folks. This is, really is an amazing game mode, and as you can see, we've just got a juggernaut spawn there. It is ruthless, it's merciless. The dealer you just saw in the bottom right of your screen, that is to do with a challenge to unlock another character in Ray Santos. Ray Santos, again, is a hero. Now, your heroes will consist mainly of NPCs that you couldn't play as before, so that's brilliant in my opinion. We all want to play as Mickey Wilkerson and Job Wilkerson and Eli Wilkerson. We all want to be the Wilkersons. Now we can. Thank you, Undead Labs, for listening to us. Because, yes, folks, this was a community-demanded, funded, not funded, but you know what I mean, community-demanded game. We had to give our feedback on the forums, and this is what Undead Labs came up with from our feedback. We wanted an infinitely difficult game. They have given us an infinitely difficult game, and from someone who has gone far and deep into the uh, levels, it just gets harder and harder. One story I will give you is, for the first three levels, it's relatively easy. There's not really any major difficulty spike. However, once you start level four, that's when things start to get batshit crazy. Trust me, folks, I... Whoa, dear! Well, that's a feral zombie. Uh, once you get to difficulty level four, folks, uh, that's when things start to get insane. I have never had as much a challenge on this game as I have had with uh, just going from level 3 to level 4. You think something so small, something so irrelevant as one single level will not be enough to kill you, but trust me folks, it is. It's batshit. So I've just got rid of that feral, and this survivor is nearing her demise <laughs> already. And we haven't even got to our first potential home zone. But trust me, this is nothing yet. If you thought that was out of the blue, you wait until you uh, get to level 4 of Breakdown and beyond. So we're just going to crash here. Luckily, uh, that feral's just done me a favour. Because we start out with uh, this random community, but I'm going to show you how to unlock a hero. So we're going to drop our random lady stuff off. We've joined that community. Lily's there now, and this is now our home. Now, to unlock your first hero, what you need to do, my friends, is simply go out and get torn apart, as you will see in the challenge menu. The tragedy, get torn apart by zombies at breakdown level 1 or higher. Now, this will unlock a survivor that usually sticks with me to the end. So, I've just got a scavenger mission ping as well. So, thanks to Mr. Feral and his little horde of friends, we have already unlocked our first hero. Folks, that feral spawning out of the blue is something that you can expect to see a lot in Static Decay Breakdown. This game pulls no strings, it shows no mercy when it comes to giving you the ultimate zombie apocalypse survival challenge. It will force you to think outside the box. It will force you to deal with these out the blue situations and scenarios that you couldn't possibly imagine. So, we are now controlling Peyton Duckworth, who is a random survivor. He's got a golf club. He's got a wooden bat and he's got a hockey stick for some reason. So we are going to drop these things in here. In fact, we'll keep at least one weapon and rack up a few kills when we go and get our hero. Now we're just waiting for our hero mission to ping. And I, this is your easiest hero to recruit, my friends, trust me. Right, so our hero mission has pinged here and it... Your hero missions will always ping as escort missions rather than recruit missions or stranger in trouble. Hold tight. So what we need to do is go and rescue this hero. We need to bring them home to our community. So what we're going to do is drive all the way there. We're going to rescue him, bring him home, and then we're going to switch out to him because quite frankly, he's a brilliant survivor. And we could use his assistance. However, I've just uh, remembered there is a second survivor that I can show you how to recruit in this same episode. So 
What we're going to do is hop over and rescue Jacob Ritter, my friends. This is our first hero survivor, the tragedy. And as Jacob Ritter, if you guys remember, starts out as a powerhouse survivor in the main storyline, the same thing applies. Jacob Ritter starts out as a powerhouse, and as always, my friends, I intend to make him a heavy weapons expert. Uh, I need a breather. So what we're going to do is talk to Jacob Ritter now. You should join us, Jacob okay. Ritter. And up, Jacob coach. Ritter is well on his way to being one of our top survivors. Now, as I mentioned earlier, folks, as I touched on, you can only take six survivors with you in the RV. Jacob Ritter is usually one of my six, if he can get out of this little glitch here. Get out, Jacob. There we go, that's better. Come on, my friend. Let's get you in the vehicle, let's get you home. So yes, folks, Jacob Ritter is usually one of the survivors that's with me in the RV, regardless of who I unlock and regardless of who I have to uh, choose from. That's because Jacob's always one of my favourite survivors, and also a little personal reason. Uh, in this mode, you can also play as Eli Wilkerson. And as Jacob and Eli had their little forbidden relationship that ended in tragedy in the storyline mode, I figured, well, let's let them have their little moment. So I always have Jacob and Eli together, which is pretty cool that Undead Labs have let us be, let us able to do that. So we've got Jacob, we've racked up a few kills on the Bruiser, I believe, yes we have 17 kills now on the Bruiser. Then we are going to kill off this survivor as well, this Peyton guy, who is usually the Frank Johnson character model, but obviously with it being a breakdown, they are going to give us random names to do with these character models. Now you may have noticed that Breakdown seems to have a hell of a lot more zombies than uh, the regular game mode and that's for a damn good reason. This is because it is a challenge mode. You are going to be challenged my friends in every possible way. So we're going to drop off this table leg here, we're going to take out a Molotov for the next survivor. So I've just brought home Jacob Ritter. He's trusting, he starts out as a natural athlete and the hero trait, which is a personal trait. And unfortunately, he starts out at level 1 everything. A lot of your heroes will start out with maximum everything. For example, uh, Eli Wilkerson, who is unlocked via the Bruiser, will start out with max fighting and max heavy weapons. So that's something to look forward to. And another very, very good reason to work towards unlocking Eli Wilkerson in your level 1. That's because he starts out maxed as it is, which means he's a flawless survivor. So to unlock the Sacrifice, which is your second hero survivor, your second easiest to, to uh, unlock, you need to equip a firebomb or a molotov or anything that explodes, my friends, and you need to die once again. Then you need to go out in a blaze of glory, which is also an achievement, so if you haven't unlocked that, this is how to do it in Break Them. You simply need to die, and when the screen turns red, once you're, you have your Molotov or explosive device equipped, you simply use it like so. Now this will unlock, uh, the, you will still die obviously, you'll lose your survival, that's nothing to worry about. You will unlock the Sacrifice Challenge, Peyton is dead, goodbye my friend. Now the Sacrifice is another flawless hero, and it will allow me to touch on what I told you guys earlier, uh, that you ca can start out maxed. Now as you can see, I have played Breakdown a lot, so I know a lot of the survivors and who they are. So what we're going to do is uh, take out uh, three snacks for Jacob, and we also want a blunt weapon. Uh, if we've got a decent blunt weapon, we'll take out the bat, because we want to work towards getting Eli as well. So we've got another escort mission that's just pinged here, and this will unlock, my friends. You will not believe who this unlocks if you haven't played Breakdown yet. But this man is indeed a playable character at long, long last. This is something that we all wanted when we played the first State of Decay, and we finally have it, thanks to Undead Labs, giving us this flawless survival apocalypse mode in a State of Decay with Breakdown. So we are going to rescue this man now. There he is. Sergeant Eric Tan, my friends, the Sarge himself. A flawless survivor, starts out in max shooting, and I believe his uh, skill, his maxed out skill, is uh, assault weapons. So you can't go wrong with recruiting Eric Tan. Lead the way. Eric Tan, Jacob Ritter, and Eloy Wilkerson have been with me in my other games uh, pretty much until it ended, until I died. 
So yeah, it's a good idea to get these three because they are eternally useful in my opinion. Until you unlock a better shooter. But I will touch on that in about 30 episodes time when I get him again. Right, come on, Tam will take you home. We've got a zombie horde heading towards home. So once we have uh, took Eric Tan home, I will show you a few other things that you need to do in order to make your time well spent in State of the Cape Breakdown Episode 1. Because inevitably, you guys will be at this level as well. When you first start, you have to know how to start properly. That is not how to do it. We need to remove our vehicle from there so our tank can actually get into the gaff for one. Uh, you should know, my friends, that these episodes are going to be at least 20 minutes each. Probably no more than 21, 22. Uh, so, once you're in, we've got our two hero survivors. We want to start fixing up the joint. We're not going to be here very long. I want to move on to level 2 as quickly as possible. So, we're just going to fix those up for now. And then we're going to set our first outpost and start foraging for supplies. Once the main mission pings to fix up the RV, my friends, you will have to do a number of things, and I've touched on this earlier. You will have to uh, either refuel it, fix it up, or whatever. So it's always good to start uh, foraging for your supplies early on. So we've got some construction okay, supplies zone. here. We've got a tire iron, which is a blunt weapon. We'll equip that because it's a uh, level 5 blunt weapon, which is flawless. Uh, we will keep searching here. Don't worry about making noise when we are trying to make noise and attract a lot of attention. Some bullets in there. We'll search this fuel gaff here. That was loud. Good. Call for scavengers. Uh, we will also establish this as an outpost once we have enough, uh, enough influence, once we have defeated the enemies that are chasing us. So what I'm going to do is straight away, roll out the way, eat a snack my friends, because I don't want to be caught off guard with Jacob Ritter. So we're going to keep rolling, keep rolling, 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 as Limp Biscuit once taught us in our angsty youth. We will hop through this window and then we will let them come out and periodically we will eliminate them! Left bumper and Y critical attacks as always my friends, always the best way to go when killing any survivors. Any zombies I should say. I said survivors because our survivor just appeared out the blue. Aiden probably has it covered. So I'm going to pop an aspirin and I just realised I need a snack as well. So we'll eat a snack, we'll roll again. Uh, pop an aspirin, there we go. Right, now we're back on track for uh, getting a few more bruiser kills. The aspirin still has a ping. Right, there we go. No, has it? No, 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 no. Right, so we need to eat it now. There we go, that's better. Look, you're doing what I say now, Jacob. Level 2 powerhouse already for Jacob Ritter, which is why we keep him alive anyway. Because of his powerhouse ability. Jacob led the way. So if you want a cheeky bit of extra influence early on folks, just go ahead, hop in, and establish this as an outpost. And you can uh, join in on the scavenger hunt mission as well if you like. How many have we got now, bruiser kills? 33. If you're in a hurry, let me so we'll leave him to it now. I'm coming home now. So Jacob's got some supplies on his back, we will take these supplies back, and deposit them in the supply locker. And then we'll go out and work towards getting uh, Jacob good and tr uh, proper leveled up, my friends. And we'll also work towards getting some more supplies as well. In fact, let's switch out to Sergeant Eric Tan for a while. Uh, I'll show you how good he is as well. Uh, there is another one to unlock the cop. You have to kill 50 zombies with pistols. Uh, at the moment, I don't really need that because we've got our flawless shooting expert in Sergeant Eric Tan. So what I want to do is get him and get him a blunt weapon so we can work towards the bruiser. We'll deposit that. Has he got a backpack knocking about? Yes, we have indeed. Uh, we'll deposit that. Deposit his assault rifle. And deposit... Uh, we'll keep his morphine, actually. Take three snacks. Whoa, dear. I don't think so, sugar tits. You get in my gaff. Nice one, Jacob. Yeah, nobody fucked with Tan and Jacob. So we want to get in our supply locker and we want to get a decent blunt weapon. So we'll take it the baseball bat for now. Is that equipped? Yes it is. Now we want to go and work on our kills as well. He is a shooting expert but he doesn't start out with max fighting. So what we want to do is what we usually do in this game. Running straight into a horde head first. Fucking fists are blazing. And we start swinging like there's no fucking tomorrow. Which if we don't get a good swinging there won't be my friends. Because we will die horribly. And brutally. 
Uh, but this is a flawless way to get your bruiser kills up, and it's also a flawless way to start levelling up your characters. You want to start levelling up your fighting skills fast and easy. Just run into a horde, don't worry about wasting supplies, especially in Iron Breakdown level 1, because there's an abundance of supplies, you will always find supplies. Just run in, get swinging, don't worry about taking damage, heal when necessary, and your kill count will rise, my friends. Uh, eat snacks when you need to. I'm not going to bother because we've only got two left. Uh, the snacks is what you do when you're running straight into a horde for the first time. So there's the horde, and we got some influence and some friendship points at home for that. Uh, let's pop another morphine, and we will head back in and get a couple more, and then we will rinse and repeat until we unlock Eli Wilkerson and the RV mission pings. Another great way to obviously rack up your kill uh, counts, my friends, is to uh, take out three of them this time. Where else have we got nice? Let's take out one of them, because uh, we've got a Z hunt mission to do as well. So we've got some construction supplies at home. Uh, let's see what we can uh, build here. We'll set up a medical area, because that's always a good thing to have. Uh, one thing I should say as well, folks, once you progress on to Breakdown Level 2, if any of your characters that you take with you are sick or hurt, their status will carry over. So that's something to very much keep in mind, trust me. So we've got a neighbour enclave that's just uh, spawned here. We've got some more Zeds coming here. So before we go in and visit the neighbours, we will kill the Zed! Neighbours discovered. Knees to faces. Uh, critical attacks, even with the knees, uh, do count towards your uh, survivability, your uh, you challenge, folks, so keep hey, that in mind. That's what neighbours are for, we're going to clear out an infestation. Another great way to uh, get your kill count up for the bruiser. So we're already at 22 minutes, folks, so as soon as we've cleared out this infestation, we will take Eric Tan home and then we will end this episode. But you it's guys have seen now. a lot of what this game is all about, what Breakdown is all about. It's just about survival, nothing else. So we're going to pop a snack, as usual, then we're going to roll in, and start swinging. Now the more fighting levels we get, the more uh, powerhouse levels we get for Jacob, uh, the more kills we get with any blunt weapon, all counts towards Bruiser. So an infestation and a horde at the same time is the perfect way to unlock this survivor faster and easier. So you shall all die, sirs. You, none of you have any chance. Even you, you are must punt. Die, sir. Oh, did I break out a C word on camera? Oh, I always try my best not to do that, but it is my favourite word, so I do apologise in advance if that offends you, but, well, you probably shouldn't be watching me kill things if you're that sensitive, so that's probably your own fault. Oh, my oven's pinged! My food's ready! Hell yeah! Perfect timing for the episode to finish. Die, sir! Right, so we're going to head in again. We'll pop another snack, there's quite a few left. We've got Tan, we've got Jacob, we are working towards Eli, three of our pretty much permanent survivors until we all unlock a better shooter, which is in uh, an, a long time away, folks. I think, I think it's level four or five before we unlock the shooter that I want. So let's get, keep dying, keep killing things. So that site's cleared, we've got some friendship points with neighbours, friendship points at home, and we've got a lot of kills, more importantly for us. We are still waiting for the... Uh, RV mission to ping and that could take some time. Now I was going to head home straight away but we'll end this one about 25 minutes and that is because we've got another horde here. So we want to fight this horde, we want to get our bruiser kills up while we have the opportunity to do so. Running low on snacks so we're not going to bother uh, popping a snack, we'll just uh, use some more meds when we get home unless things get extra hairy. For now though we're doing alright, even though our back's about to break. But that's fine because we've still got Jacob at home with his level 5 blunt weapon. This is The bat is just a level 3. So things are getting a bit hairy now. So we will use a, a medical supply and a snack. There we go, like so. Now that bitch fell over of her own accord. I did nothing to assault that lady. So perfect timing for the snack and the uh, medical supplies because we just got some extra Zeds joining the horde. So you can't argue, folks. This is the greatest way to unlock the Bruiser Survivor early on. And we're probably going to do it in at least episode 2 because we're not very far off already. So, not complaining my friends, the Bruiser is one that stays with me till the end. There's the Horde dead, we're going to eat another med. Oh, that's broke. Right, time to go home. 
Right, so now we're going to head home and then we will continue unlocking our hero in the next episode, my friends. And my food is ready as well, so that's probably going to be about half hour before I start recording again. Oh, food, my first meal of the day. Just because, just for you folks, if in case you haven't uh, seen, I have upgraded to full high definition. My PC is not being kind to me in full high definition. So I have had to uh, work around and try to unlock new things on my PC just to make this uh, series possible. So I have been working hard, damn hard, just for you, my friends. So we're going to equip a golf club on Sergeant Tan, who is tired. We're going to switch out to Jacob. Uh, we've got a snack equipped with Jacob already. Uh, we'll take out two more. He's, we'll take out three meds. And then we will end it there, my friends, when we continue in episode two. We have a lot of things going on here. So we've got another horde. We've got a stranger in trouble. And we got plenty of hordes. Now we are already at 69 out of 100 as we play as Jacob Ritter unlocking Eli Wilkerson. So we will definitely get Eli Wilkerson in the next episode, my friends. But that is it for this one. I hope you have enjoyed Static Decay Breakdown. Please go and buy it, support Undead Labs, and I will see you in the next one. This series is going to be insane, my friends. Please follow it from the beginning. Please stick with it. We will probably have some slow episodes as we go on. But that's just State of Decay in general. You guys know that from playing the game yourselves. So, yes, thank you very much for once again, my friends, for over 10,000 subscribers and over 2 million views. My channel has only grown the way it has thanks to you. So we shall continue in State of Decay Breakdown Episode 2. Please go and buy it. Please record yourselves playing the game. Please send me the links and we shall support each other. Wayne here for the Let's Play Kit Gaming Channel. Thanking you once again and saying goodbye.